Good morning, my people. It's your red from Texas Nate. We're at a Walmart. Let's see what they got today. Hmm, nah. Yeah, they've been there for a while. I don't see it going nowhere. Supergirl. Dr. Fate. Yeah. Ah, we're getting closer and closer to the retro. So we'll be able to see them. Ooh. The new blood. Oh yeah. There it is. That face only a mother can love. Yeah, yeah, Ultimate E.T. More shredder. That two pack's been here for since we moved here. Okay. Let's jump to the other side and see. We're gonna get lucky today with Toxitron. We'll see. Alright. Alright, same old, same old. Got you. Got you. But the studio series is better. I just need Scourge. Oh, hello. Uh, Toxitron. Mm. Ah, here we go. Mirage. And. Uh, what's it? Laser Cycle. Huh. But my boy, um, Carl, is getting it for me. So, so I'm going to wait. All right, turtles. Genghis Frog. Uh, let's see. Not, let's see. <laughs> That brings back memories when I was a kid. Especially this one. Dude, that is awesome. They going whole ham on the X Men 97. Ooh, zombie. I want the howl, the Calabug. And then that Duke Thomas is going to stay there and rot. <laughs> the Dungeons and Dragons didn't do as good as I thought they would have either. Tons of them. Let's see. Bowl of Fats. Hmm. Let's take a look here. Hmm. Let's see. That's a five, Zoda. Hey man. Buzz off. That wave's been out for a long time. Rock and roll. But I'm no longer collecting Joes. This is for you guys. Okay. Ringside's got a, um, <laughs> with a guitar. Come on, how many versions of the rock are we gonna get? No. Root. Yeah, no. But I was saying the ringside's got a um, three pack for the three faces of Foley. So we already ordered that one. Now I just need to get that two pack that I got hosed on a long time ago with um, the rock and side connection. 
Okay. Well, that's going to be it for Walmart. See y'all later. All right. Hello, my people. It is your redneck from Texas night. Hey, we went on a small hunt, um, but we found some goodies. Now, originally, um, I messaged Carl and said, hey, did he have these in his area? And good thing um, I picked them up because he did not. So we got the G2 Universe Autobot Mirage and the G2 Universal Laser Cycle. So, it's a good thing I got these. Like I said, Carl told me they didn't have them in his area. And this is actually the hardest, one of the hardest ways to get because they're Walmart exclusive only. That's just how they be. But, it wouldn't be a good day if we didn't have some boxes, right? Yes, yes. So let's see. This one's from Target. I, the one I had to keep approving for delay so they didn't cancel it. This is Studio Series Rise of the Beast, Optimus Prime, Buzzworthy. This is the only way to get this one because it was only a freaking Target exclusive through this line. Which it doesn't make sense. You would think that for anything Optimus that they would just put it in the normal way. But no, they put it in the buzzword of the only. Never know. All right. This one's from Hasbro Pulse. And let's see what the other box. Ah, yeah. The little core class. Optimus Prime with the trailer and Bumblebee. So... I'm enjoying these, but now I have two core classes of Optimus. One might have to go. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. All right, and we got a black package in the mail. So let's see what's in this. I've not got a black package in the mail, so I'm thinking definitely from overseas. Yep, I can tell. Oh yeah. got one so this is from show z i can tell this is the purchase thank you carl for letting me know about this because i did not know yeah it was put up like real fast and then um I just used all my points I had to just end up buying it. All right. So it kind of works out. Okay. Yeah, buddy, waited a long time. I'm so happy they reissued this one. It's going for astronomical amounts of money for no reason. We got contact shot, otherwise known as point blank. And let's see what's in the baggie. Let's see. Ah, uh, there's a Discord, and they always send stickers. So thank you, Show Z. We got a contact shot. It'll go well with my headmasters. Woohoo! Finally! Finally! Alright, now we did get a bunch of comics in the mail too. Um, okay, let's see. Purgatory. This is the number zero ash can. 
One more. We're getting closer. We're getting closer, folks. Eventually, we will have them all. We will have all the chaos. Ash and scripts. Someday. Doesn't all have to be today. Okay. From the Brothers Collectibles. And they were actually really easy to work with, too. They were real nice. And actually, they were actually looking for stuff for me as well. Because um, they had one of these on sale. And I was like, Ooh, let me grab that. And then they actually gave it to me at a discounted rate. And I was like, oh. So, they really bent over backwards to try to get the business. Which I appreciate. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh. Mm. Mm. We got the morning, the yellow, the regular cover version. So there's this one. And there was the white one, which was limited to 50. This is the regular edition. So I figured, hey, why not? Let's grab that one too. It's a good deal. We'll go for it. Okay. From Top of the World Comics. Um, this has been a long time in the wait. I know they've had their wait for printers and everything like that to get this done so glad to finally have this it is creature from the pool lagoon this is our boy William Russell had to get this to support them so so happy to have this this is the number two of the series okay all right, my good friend, Wendy Shaner. Let's see what's in here. She always packages well. All right. Yeah, so this is the Luna Tales. So this is their... Um, Little side thing they do. A little packet of goodies. All right. Mm. You know what? Yeah, it makes it even easier. A pair of scissors. Little things like this. Ah. All right. <laughs> Linda Taylor Comics. Had to get the Raina cover. Had to get it. So, and it comes with some cool stuff in the back as well. The Luna Tales. All right. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have to let her know we got it in. That's what you do, folks. Support your artists. Support your writers. Let them know when you get your stuff. Tell them that you appreciate it. It goes a long way. Okay. All right. From Legends Publishing, sister company to Merck. Let's see. Oh, 
Let's see what these things are. It's heavy. bag for uh, this is guns and angels uh, okay and we got the lanyard lanyards are always good I always need those and a little advertising advertising never does, does anybody wrong this helps you get better business, more business. Okay. And uh, all right, so we got guns and angels. So our son, and the Dave Santana, which was a Kickstarter exclusive only. So this was the uh, preview edition. So I had to have these. So Merck, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. I really do. Okay, this next package though, I might just put everything the shade so far so far okay because this was an awesome find mm. This is some old school goodness too. I'm so excited to show you guys. Okay. We're gonna show you every little thing that's in here. Because it's important. It's damn important, folks. Okay. So first off we got the Resurrection Ash Can signed by Brian. This is old school. We got a Chaos Rules sticker. I'm got a promo flyer for Resurrection number two. We got the bumper sticker for Smiley. Have a psychotic day. Okay. We got the chaos. Uh, this is the hol all hollow Z's. So the way this works is if you take it open, it's a little lax. <laughs> this is for the Halloween bash. Okay, we got the prologue to hell, which this is actually in better shape than mine is, but I have. All right, so this is the letter from chaos from way back when. Talking about the resurrection, here's the preview. Okay. Comes with a little black book, which I just bought from Tony. But this is like a, this will be my reader one. Okay, we got 
some cards. These are like promo cards. Ernie. Lady Death. Ernie again. Like, literally, these are pretty much equal. Ernie promo cards. And then we've got some promo cards for Lady Death, the Refractor series. And the Evil Ernie promo card. Okay. I think this is probably going to be the coolest part of this. Um, all right, let me put these back in order. Yeah, that's number four. These are the newsletter, the old newsletters from the Fiend Club. This is volume one, number three. Volume one, number four. Volume two, number one. Volume two, number two. Volume three, number one. Volume three, number one. And then this is a double issue, volume three, volume three and four. And then you've got, this is a folded edition for volume one, for volume four, number one. Okay, the coolest thing, to finally have one of these again, is the Fiend Club card. That, that was worth it for everything in here, this was worth it. To have that card back because mine is gone, long gone. I could not even tell you where mine is anymore. Like, we're talking like 30 years ago now. We're getting ready to have, you know, the big, the big one. Because um, next year will be 30th anniversary. So, I'm glad to have this back. All right, so Michael, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing an old, an old fiend to have a, have a card back and have all of these goodies because this, like I said, this was worth every penny to me. Every penny that I paid, it was well worth it. Okay, now we got one more package. And this package comes from our good friend, y'all know him to the channel, Joel Gomez. So Joel had some stuff. He was holding on to it for me until I got back from our vacation that we went on. So thank you. Thank you so much, brother. Um, so definitely, definitely. He had up a lot of us that he knew would like this stuff, um, but he knew that not everybody would be able to get it. Ah, uh, he done throw some goodies in here too. That's my boy. That's my boy. All right, let's see. All right. 
right, we're gonna go through some goodies first. You never know what he's going to send. Mm. See, I'm not even going to look at it. I want to show you guys first. That's heavy. That's all I know. That thing is heavy. But you know, it wouldn't be the Gomez game if we didn't get some good stickers. So you gotta have your stickers, folks. Yeah. Gomez. And the flyer. What's cool is he did this little La Moreta. I like this three by three. That's awesome. All right, let's see what this is. Holy crap. The metal cover of Speechless. And signed the, the virgin version. This is amazing. Heck yeah. Dude, thank you. Thank you, Joel, so much, man. I appreciate it. That's an artist proof. Damn. Okay, you're going back in the bag. <laughs> we ain't taking no chances with you. Everything else is going to stay out because we got to show people what we got. Okay. Then, and that was just the bonus stuff, folks, that Joel sent. All right, you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, folks? Okay. We'll be. artwork from the interior pages and we're at the chapter six this is page 11 From chapter four, page twelve. But last but not least. Chapter four, pages four and five. I mean, you see how big this is. This is massive. It, like I said, it's a gatefold. Two, it's two, two 11 by 17s put together. Freaking A, man, freaking A. <sighs> Joel, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.
All right, all right, all right. Have a good one. Oh shoot, I forgot that took the...